Hey everyone, this is Ashley with CT Minute Digitals. I'm going to do a quick tutorial to show you how to use my new Eerie uh, backdrop overlays in Photoshop. These ones are fairly simple to use. Uh, the backdrop overlays usually are. Um, I already have opened the images that I am going to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all and copy and paste my overlay into my image. Go ahead and resize. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and change the blending mode to screen. And then the light on the overlay is coming from the left side and the light on the subject is coming from the right. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my overlay. And I'm going to drag this up a little bit more. And you can play around with the different blending modes on this, but I typically stick with screen on these ones. I'm going to add a curves layer above that, and I'm going to click right here just to, uh, to create a clipping mask to make sure that I'm only working on my overlay and not on my subject layer. And I'm just going to drag that down a little bit. Get rid of some of those highlights. And then I'm going to create a layer mask. Actually, I think I'm going to, I'm going to come to my subject layer. I'm also going to brighten her up, that layer up a little bit to kind of match my digital there. I'm going to merge those two layers. And then I'm, I think I'm just going to brush it off her. I was going to um, create a mask over her, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to create a mask on my overlay here, and I'm going to use a black brush at about 25, well, 100% first, sorry, because I'm going to get rid of this line right down here, just because I dragged that overlay up so there was going to be a line right there. And then I'm going to use a lower opacity, and I'm just going to brush some of this off of her face and a little bit off of a couple areas on there. Now, I could be done with this <clears throat> if you wanted these, excuse me, if you wanted these bats to be in focus a bit more. Um, but I'm actually going to come over to the overlay and I'm going to add just a little bit of blur. Go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And I'm not going to add a lot, just a little. Okay, and then I'm also going to, I want to add some fog um, down here as well. And now I do have fog overlays in my shop as well, but since um, if you already purchased these, I would just use these backdrops. So I'm going to go up to File and Place Embedded, and you would just navigate to the folder where your um, backdrop overlays are saved. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to click this one right here, and that's going to place it on my backdrop. And then I'm just going to flip, flip this horizontal, drag this just so it's just the smoke here mostly and then I'm gonna change that blending mode to screen again I'm gonna create a layer mask use a black brush on hundred percent opacity and get rid of that hard line there okay and now the only thing that's bothering me now is the smoke down here or the fog down here is a little has a little bit of a warm tone to it and the fog up here does not, and she kind of has warm skin, so I'm going to add a little bit of a hue layer to my original overlay here. So I'm going to click on that overlay, and I'm going to go to color balance, and I'm going to drag that, and there's already a clipping mask created because I did it in between that curves layer, but if, if there wasn't, you would have to do that so it didn't apply to your whole image. And then I'm just going to drag it to yellow and to red a little bit just to add a little bit of warm, warmer tone into that. Okay, and then I'm going to keep that on the mask there and use a smaller percentage brush and just brush it off a little bit on this side. I just want to try to get it to match this one down here um, as close as possible. And that's it. I would be done with this image. I think that looks really cool. It makes it a completely different, um, gives it a completely different different vibe to that image. Go ahead and flatten image and done. You can, after this, you can add any adjustment layers you want to. Um, if you want to add 
a little bit more deeper shadows in there. You could go up to filter in camera raw and you could add, I like to add sometimes a tiny bit of contrast. And then I also like to add some clarity when I want to add some deeper shadows. You can drag down your shadows too, but I, don't, I wouldn't want to do too much on this image. There, that was just, looks a little bit better. <clears throat> Okay, if you have any questions, you can send me a message. If you are a studio photographer, I would love for you to join my group on Facebook. It is linked in the listing description. Uh, if you want more free tutorials like this and want to be notified when they are published, go ahead and follow the YouTube channel.